Howdy, howdy, back at it again. Today's video is going to be geared towards people that are interested in picking up the character, but they're not sure where to start combo-wise. You did the trials, but you're not sure what's good. So these are going to be essential bread and butter beginner combos for Marisa. If you're a Marisa player, this isn't necessarily for you, but look for a video coming out soon, possibly tomorrow. That's more of a combo compendium. What works from where? What extensions can we have? And we can just sort of have fun with it that way. But without further ado, let's get into it. So jumping combo. Jump heavy kick, back heavy punch, heavy punch slam into one of a couple different enders. The most common ender you're going to see is dry rush back heavy punch into heavy punch Superman punch. That'll happen if you're literally half screen and in because it'll push him to the corner and you've got a safe jump. If you're backed up a little bit, usually it's going to be dry rush back heavy punch medium quadriga because it has a lot of corner carry and it actually has really good oki as well. I could dash forward and still be in range for a meaty here, or I could spend drive rush if I wanted to. If you are more in the meterless combo area, we can do down forward heavy punch to set up a safe jump anywhere on screen. Or the classic ender I think is light kick quadriga or heavy gladius to cancel into level three. And that will be it for jumping combos. Next big thing I think you're going to want to learn is what do I do if I react to a DI? And the answer there is going to be charge back heavy punch into back heavy punch into once again, whatever extension you would like. Okay. The secret, because I see a lot of people can't get this, so they'll opt for like medium punch or something, or they'll just do the charge back heavy punch, right? They just do the one because they can't figure it out or whatever. The key is to start charging this once the camera starts to pan back to normal, okay? So like there, and you're good, right? Camera starts to pan back, and now all of a sudden, we can do it, okay? So that's my advice on that. So that's BNB from a jump in, BNB from drive impact. Next, I'm gonna say lights. Very good. Crouch light kick, crouch light punch, light punch slam, or two crouch light punches, right? You could use this on defense if you're waking up with it, or if they're trying to get cheeky and walk forward, right? And you're just trying to press buttons, that's where you'd land this. Another common spot where you would land this combo is off of a drive rush, crouch medium punch. If you go for throw, they can walk back. So you do crouch light kick to catch the walk back, and there's your combo. Next combo I think you need to learn is with this medium punch target combo. So generally we're going to medium slam if we want Oki. We're going to medium gladius if we want to spend level three. Or OD gladius if we're trying to spend level two. And we're not trying to burn drive gauge, obviously, like a lot of it. But usually if you're gonna land this, you're going to do medium launcher, which has the same follow-ups really as heavy launcher with one exception. It launches them a little higher. So one, if you're doing this meterless, you can do medium quadriga instead of light. But the main thing is you can do drive rush towards heavy kick, heavy kick quadriga, because again, they're a little higher that doesn't work with the heavy slam. And that has a really good corner carry, really good damage and cancels into level three. So usually the way it breaks down is if you land it on this side of the screen, you'll go for heavy Superman punch to put him in the corner with the safe jump. And if you land it on this side of the screen, usually you'll do drive rush towards heavy kick into heavy quadriga. You would probably land this in a situation where you're trying to get something to whiff. So for example, walk back, spots where you might walk back. I'm walking forward too much. There we go. Try to get that to walk back, make her whiff something. And then there we are, right? Another combo that I don't know that I'd call it essential, I still think it's really important to know, is dry rush canceling, crouch medium punch. The reason this is important is because this is really useful as a buffer, so we go back to this again. If we just kind of throw this out, we can confirm off this very easily. The thing I would say is you probably don't want to spend a ton of meter like extending this. Like I probably wouldn't do a dry rush extension here off of this. Like I probably wouldn't do this combo because all of a sudden I'm spending four bars on one combo. I would probably 
opt for something meterless, like down towards fierce. Right? Da 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 da. Okay. Now, a couple more things to talk about. First thing, if you whiff punish with stand fierce, which is a big part of this character's game plan, you can combo into medium punch into the extensions we just talked about. Okay. If you block a DP, while well, we have him on punish counter, you're really just going to most of the time want to combo into back heavy punch and then into whatever enders you like. If you have him near the corner, I would say stand heavy punch towards heavy kick OD Quadriga. It adds a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, that's 5,040 versus what we would do meterless is probably this. 4,450, right? So 600-ish damage is pretty significant, I would say. And it's, you get about half a bar back doing the combo. Last thing I want to look at is DI wall splat combos. I have a YouTube short about this, talked about it a little bit. You can look into that if you would like to. Um, usually if you have the meter, I would recommend doing this. And then you can either go into fan grab or charge back heavy punch and heavy gladius. If you don't, the optimal meter list is heavy slam, charge back heavy punch, heavy gladius, does 3000. If for whatever reason you're like, ah, it sucks, I can't do it, towards heavy kick into medium punch, Superman punch sets up a safe jump as well. For people interested, I have a full length video that I will link that goes over uh, DP punishes at various spots on the screen using various different amounts of meter. I also have a video on how to punish every super in the game with this character. So I'll link that in the description as well. Otherwise, hopefully this is helpful. And as always, have a good time.